Trigonometry in a right angled triangle. This is a further maths GCSE question. It's in two parts. It's part A here, which is just worth two marks, and then part B, um, which is worth six marks, so much, much more complicated. Um, the key thing here is no calculators allowed, so it's not, not just straightforward put the numbers into a calculator. So the first thing we've got to do is use the triangle XYZ to show that sine 60 is root 3 upon 2, but this triangle is a 30 degree triangle. Um, so what we need to realize is that actually that this angle here, because it's a right angle triangle, is 60 degrees. And so when we're doing the sine of 60, we want to know what this side is. So to work that out, we need to use a bit of Pythagoras, because we've got two sides. The missing side, which is one of the short sides, is the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared. And that's 4 to go on, which is the square root of 3. So this side is the square root of 3. So this tells us that... Um, sine 60 equals um, the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse um, which is root 3 over 2 and there we go there's the answer um, so you get one mark for, for working that side out root 3 and then another mark for just stating the obvious and putting it into the formula okay part B so with this part of the question, we're not got a right angle triangle anymore because this is an obtuse angle at C, so that's telling us this angle is not right angled. Uh, but what we do have is we know that sine A, we know something about this angle A, because we know the sine A is a quarter, and we are trying to find B or show B there's 60. So we're doing this angle, and we've got these two sides, um, and call this side little b and this side little a. So we've got two sides, two angles, or well, the angles are opposite, the sides are opposite the angles. So we're going to be using the sine rule, which is um, a over sine a equals b over sine b. Uh, and because um, I'm going to be trying to look at finding what b is, I'm actually going to write that with uh, the angles on top. So I've got sine a over a is equal to sine b over b. And that doesn't change this formula at all. It's the same formula. Uh, because they're fractions, if we turn this one upside down, turn it upside down, we actually get the same formula. Okay, so we're going to use this one. Um, um, let's just write it out. So we've got sine A, which is a quarter, all over um, A, which is the side opposite A, which is this one, which is 2 root 3. And that's equal to sine B, which is what we're trying to find. And... Um, B, which is this side, which is 4 root 3 minus 6. Now I've got a little bit of suspicion about this question already because it's non-calculator. Uh, I've got to show that uh, angle B is 60. Now previously I worked, we showed that sine of 60 is root 3 upon 2. So because we're trying to find the sine of B and it's going to be 60, we're actually trying to show the rest of this is root 3 upon 2. Um, to get uh, this more simply, so I'm keeping, I'm actually going to be quite push the space on this, so I'm going to try and keep this up here. So sine b, if I multiply by this bottom, I end up with a quarter of 4 root 3 minus 6, Ooh, we're in that space, 2 minus root 3. So I'm going to tidy that thing up, to tidy that up, this quarter um, is essentially a quarter of this whole bracket, so this whole fraction, so the 4 just actually comes down onto the bottom. So sine b equals 4 root 3 minus 6 over 4 lots of 2 minus root 3. Okay, from there, um, that looks horrible. I, I could start cancelling a little bit. I could divide through by 2 to get rid of some factors here. Um, but I'm just going to keep it. Actually, no, I will divide through by 2. I'm going to cancel that to 2, divide that by 2, divide that by 2 divide that by 2. Now it's not always easy to know which things you've got to divide by which thing when you're dividing, when you cancel. I can't just cancel one of these, I've got to cancel both because there's a minus sign between them. Um, this whole thing on the bottom, because this is four lots of this bracket, I can if I can cancel any part of this with this or any part of this with each of these then uh, I can do that, but um, it's not always obvious. If you're not sure, best just to leave it in so we've got 2 root 3 minus 3 all over 2 lots of 2 minus root 3. Just makes the numbers a little bit neater. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do here, in fact, let's take out that equal sign because I don't want that. Um, what I'm going to do here is rationalize the denominator um, by multiplying by this bracket with a plus sign in. And that's how we get rid of square uh, thirds on the bottom of fractions um, when they are added to something else. We have to multiply by um, that bracket but with a plus with the opposite sign. So if it was a minus, it becomes a plus. If it's a plus, it becomes a minus. So that gives us some horrible fraction. Let's have a look and see what that is. So we've got two root three minus three times this. So We've got 2 root 3 times 2, which is 4 root 3. Um, we've got 2 root 3 times root 3, so that's 2 times the square root of 9, which is 2 times 3, which is 6. Hope you followed me there. So I was times in this one by this one. Um, you can think about this root 3 times root 3 as being root 9, or you can just realize that when you times the square root by itself, it just gets rid of the square root, so you just end up with 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, now let's do the second part. So minus 3 times 2 is going to be minus 6. And minus 3 times root 3 is minus 3 root 3. So those are going to go. Okay, what we've got on the bottom? Well, on the bottom we have, keep this 2 on the outside. Let's just deal with this bit. So I'm going to multiply these two out. So we've got uh, 2 lots of 2 which is 4 and the reason why we times by this is because we get minus root 3 times 2 and plus root 3 times 2 that's, so that cancels and we just end up with minus root 3 squared so that's minus 3 so we have 4 root 3 minus 3 root 3 all over 2 times 1 which is 2 okay so that's equal to 4 root 3 minus 3 root 3 is just root 3 and divided by 2, root 3 over 2. So sine, just put therefore sine b equals root 3 over 2, which implies b equals 60 degrees, which we know from the previous page. Okay, six marks. Um, difficult to see where all the marks are going to come from. Um, but yeah, there is a lot to be given out there. We could certainly get um, a mark for putting all the numbers into this equation. Um, and then if we rearrange it to get the sine b equals this thing before I cancelled it, or even this thing, that would be a, definitely a method mark. So that if you got to this point, that would be two marks. To realise you've got to rationalise the denominator is, is worth a mark, so showing that you're multiplying by this bracket. Um, tidying it all up and getting the numerator and denominator um, would give you another part, another mark certainly. Um, and I think they're giving one mark for the top and one mark for the bottom and then one mark for stating the answer. So quite a difficult question, um, but hopefully you can work through and get some of it right.